to go and hope you enjoyed the video. I thought I would share a little bit of the inspiration behind this project and then give you some care tips. Um, so this little drawer unit I found at the craft store months ago and just now got around to planting it. And I know a lot of you guys are like me when you guys see something that's got an opening, you think I could plant that up with something. And that's exactly what I thought when I saw this. Um, of course, it was more of a natural wood color, so I wanted to use a little stain on it, not too dark, but just something to deepen it a little bit. I lined each one of the drawers with a plastic garbage sack and then used um, my cactus soil mix in it. And that's what I used in this whole thing were little cacti and then succulents so that the care was the same. Um, so, so most of these will live in this arrangement for quite a number of months because most of these are cuttings. Um, I only used a few rooted things. So the rooted things um, I was able to plant in the soil on this level, on this level, and then this Haworthia here is rooted and has been planted in this terracotta pot for a while. Um, so those will all last for quite a long time. The rest of them are cuttings um, or had very little roots on them. So they'll spend most of their time the first couple of months just sitting there forming roots. And then eventually you might have to pop one or two out. Like you might have to pop one out of here to allow room for the others to grow. Um, but like something like this tiny, I would assume you could get like three to four months out of something like that before you need to kind of overhaul it. Uh, but I use this big old syringe. This is a 100, c 100 mil, 100 cc syringe that I got online. I'll put links for all of this stuff, you guys, down below. So if you want to learn any more about any of the stuff I use, just check down there. Um, but these are so handy to water with because I can draw up my water and then I can just like direct it exactly where I want it to go. That way you don't mess up your garden or get water where you don't want it to be. It just makes it really nice. It also allows you to not overwater which with a container like this where we don't have any drainage, that's pretty important. Um, so you just want to water enough to get the root balls moist, but not enough to where you're going to pool water at the base of any of these areas. Um, so that's just something you kind of just have to eyeball and kind of use a little bit of common sense, not to just, you know, unload 100 cc's of water in each one of the drawers. Um, also, everything is hot glued pretty much down. So I could take this garden and I can pretty much lift the whole thing up move it around and stuff's not going anywhere. Um, so I thought that that was pretty important because there are so many moving pieces and I wanted to like put this little thing down on the moss. Well, it would topple over if I didn't use any hot glue. So hot glued, hot glued, this is hot glued. This one is, that is. The branches are off of a birch tree that's just starting to bud and leaf out and they're really, really flexible. So I was able to put a little ice screw in the back here um, and then I just unloaded my hot glue gun on it and it just it keeps it all in place right there And then I was able to soup it around and they bent whoo <laughs> Try not to mess it up. They bent all over really nicely and then I hot glued it over here on this other side um, I did bundle the branches together on each end with a little bit of jute twine just to keep them together and make it easier to glue so I think that's pretty much it about this garden, other than obviously you would probably want to display this somewhere either inside or under a covered patio, somewhere where it's protected from animals and wind um, and excess moisture. You wanna be able to pretty much control what goes on with this garden. Um, ideally, you would put it in a window inside that gets morning sunshine and then it's protected in the afternoon. Uh, I think that would be an ideal location for something like this. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm still on the hunt for a little miniature person or a fairy that fits this garden. I went through all of my stuff and couldn't find one that worked perfectly. So eventually I might add that in, but I think it's cute without it. It kind of like lends a little bit of mystery to me. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.